Tonight, President Obama ordering strong and far-reaching retaliation against Russia for its unprecedented cyber attack on the U.S. election system. The U.S. is imposing sanctions against nine Russian individuals and entities, including the Russian spy agency, the FSB, and the Russian military intelligence unit, the GRU, both believed to be behind the hack. The U.S. is ordering 35 Russian intelligence operatives and their families in California and Washington, D.C., out of the country within 72 hours and shutting down two Russian government-owned compounds, one in Maryland and another in New York. The president also declassifying intelligence on Russian cyber activity to help networks in the U.S. and abroad, quote, identify, detect, and disrupt Russian cyber attacks. In spite of this and the U.S. intelligence community's assessment that Russia ordered the election hacking, President-elect Trump just last night continued to dismiss both Moscow's involvement and the importance of the hacking at all. I think we ought to get on with our lives. I think that computers have complicated lives very greatly. Uh, the whole, you know, age of computer has made it where nobody knows exactly what's going on. Senator John McCain traveling this week with other senators in the Baltic region, where countries are most worried about Russian aggression, responding today to Trump's nonchalant remarks with a sarcastic jab. I agree with President-elect that we need to get on with our lives without having our elections uh, being affected by any outside influence, especially Vladimir Putin, who was a thug and a murderer. In a statement before the announcement, Russia promised its own retaliation, saying if Washington takes new hostile steps, it will receive an answer. Any actions against Russian diplomatic missions in the United States will immediately backfire at U.S. diplomats in Russia. The U.S. intelligence community concluded that Russian President Vladimir Putin personally approved of the hacking, in part to hurt Hillary Clinton's campaign. This according to intelligence, congressional, and other administration sources. Earlier this week, Senator Lindsey Graham, who's traveling with McCain, told CNN in an interview that Congress is planning its own payback. What are you going to do, Senator Graham and Senator McCain, if he doesn't change his tune, in effect, on Russia? There are 100 United States senators I would say that 99 of us believe the Russians did this, and we're going to do something about it. Along with Senator McCain, after this trip's over, we're going to have the hearings, and we're going to put sanctions together that hit Putin as an individual and his inner circle for interfering in our election. And they're doing it all over the world, not just in the United States.